Which books belong in the Bible? An hypothesis. Jews only include the Torah, the Hebrew prophets, and their writings in the Bible. Christians also include the New Testament Gospels, Acts, Epistles, and Book of Revelation. Catholics include all of those along with the books that they call the Apocrypha. Protestant Christians used to include the Apocrypha and other ancient Jewish writings. Muslims want the Bible to include some bogus Gospels that support their beliefs. Some books of the Bible cite from other books that are not in the Bible. Should they be? The Holy Bible has not always included the 66 books that today are commonly printed together. So, if we are going to agree on a Bible, then which books shall we admit? Apparently, no apostle, no prophet, no church, no government, no council, no angel ever decreed which books should make up the Bible. So, is there any way in which to agree on certain books? During Jesus' life on earth, and as long as his apostles and their disciples were alive, they had no need to reply to our query. For they accepted as Holy Scripture the Hebrew Torah, Psalms and Prophets, along with epistles from the Apostles and Gospel accounts that the Apostles approved. By the end of the 4th century CE, nearly all Christian churches and traditions had recognized as authoritative the 66 books that include the Hebrew Scriptures and all of the Greek books that make up the New Testament. Historically, commonly held criteria for recognizing Holy Scripture included the following. The Hebrew Scriptures accepted by Jewish authorities. Greek writings from the Apostles of Jesus or their close companions. Writings that have been accepted by Christians and have been read in Christian worship since ancient times. These writings must agree with each other's theology or complement each other's teaching. Nevertheless, some editions of the Bible include other ancient books that church leaders have judged to be of spiritual or historical value, or they leave out some books. Now. Since our highest authority remains the Lord Jesus Christ, what did he say about Holy Scripture? Jesus himself cited or quoted from 24 books of the Hebrew Scriptures. He asserted, Everything written about me in the Law of Moses and the Prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Jesus' Apostles, in turn, quoted from 34 books of the Hebrew Scriptures. Jesus provided for the writing of the New Testament books by predicting to his Apostles, When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Holy Spirit of Truth descended from heaven onto Jesus' apostles ten days after Jesus ascended into heaven in the year 33 CE. The Spirit of Truth was not a man and is not a church nor an organization. He is the Spirit of God himself who dwells within everyone who obeys the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus' apostles wrote the Gospels of Matthew and John and the epistles that bear their name by the authority that Jesus had given to them. The Apostle Peter approved of Paul's epistles and Paul authorized the Gospels of Mark and Luke, who also wrote the book of Acts. 
none of these writers foresaw any other scriptures to come after their lifetime. Thus we can draw the following inferences. First, Christians may safely quote as Holy Scripture the Hebrew books of the Bible and the 27 Greek books of the New Testament. Secondly, Christians are not required to recognize as Holy Scripture or as authoritative other books that may be published in particular editions of the Bible. Lastly, Christians do not accept as Holy Scripture the sacred books of other faiths, such as the Book of Mormon, the Quran, the Hindu and Buddhist writings, other Gospels, epistles, or ancient texts.